We are creating a new sustainable Claymont by capitalizing on Claymont's village-like qualities and enhancing its, its walkability and taking advantage of its mass transportation assets. From its inception, we had a desire to place a state-of-the-art library in a park-like setting where serene landscape and library services could be blended together. And as we look upon this beautiful landscape today, we can all see that this library will do just that. Those who have visited the 7,000 square foot uh, library in the current community center um, understand that there's not a lot of room there. Uh, there is no meeting room, there are no study rooms, there's limited space for computers, uh, and very little parking. And so the community really wanted a standalone library in a park-like setting uh, that would have enough computers and study rooms and meeting rooms to meet the demand of the service area. It's such a great amenity because, you know, obviously it serves the Claymont community and a drivable community that's close by, such as Edgemore and others, but more importantly, a walkable community for folks to walk in from this development and other areas of Claymont to have that access for this new library. The library in Claymont's always been an important part of, of, of the community, something that brings neighbors together, some place for kids like me to go and stay out of trouble and, and, uh, and, and read some good books. And uh, my uh, hope for this, uh, for this new library is that it will say, say, uh, serve that same purpose for, uh, for young people and old people in Claymont today. Everybody ready? Yeah. One, three. One, One two, two, three. three. Two. This is going to be the cornerstone of a revitalized Claymont for decades and for generations to come. And I, am I have to stop and pause and I look at the tremendous strides that we've made. Today with the groundbreaking of the, the new Claymont Library is just a, it's a culmination of those efforts. Uh, it's going to be a great meeting place. Um, it's, it's part of making this community stronger. And uh, we're already a strong community, but now we're going to be a strong, desirable community. I have received many customers from uh, Darley Green townhomes and uh, I believe that other businesses have uh, reaped the benefits also. As business owners, we really are looking forward to having new customers, obviously, uh, with all the new housing that is here, with the library being uh, opened um, and started. And uh, we just want more customers. Of course, everybody does when you have your own business. So that's our main goal is to, uh, to really attract the customers and also bring people from outside of Claymont here to Claymont as a destination. The Philadelphia Pike is our main street. And we, uh, we never really wanted it to become a, a large thoroughfare. One thing that people will notice uh, when they come into Claymont um, after the spring, um, we're actually going to be uh, calming traffic and creating a more walkable atmosphere. We're hoping that the uh, maybe traffic congestion won't be as bad at certain times. Uh, we're hoping that it'll be more convenient to get around in Claymont, uh, especially on foot. Uh, I know it's it's nice living in a community where you can just walk to the different places, be it in the snow or on a beautiful day like today. So we're really hoping that the pedestrian traffic will pick up to, uh, that people will get out, be able to talk with one another, and just enjoy the new Claymont. In a time when there's not a lot of investment going on um, during the, uh, the horrible recession that we've been in for the last four years. Um, Eagle One Federal Credit Union, they've decided they like what's happening in Claymont. They're moving their, uh, moving their headquarters here and building a, a branch with their, uh, with their corporate offices. Claymont has steadily moved forward and we expect as the economy rebounds just to, to take off. <laughs>